it's it's friends, definitely friends. You know, you you everyone starts driving, and then you start doing a lot of researches on different cars. You know, for your first car that you want to buy, right? You start talking to your friends, like, what car did you get? What car I get? You start comparing cars and stuff like that. You start doing research on your own, and that just kind of ex you know exponentially increases over time. You know, and that's how I got into like customizations and you know buying a better car so like I can do more things because some cars don't give you that freedom to customize. My name is Yuji Nagaki and I drive a 2012 Nissan GTR. The movie Fast and Furious came out. A lot of people thought it was corny back then, but had a lot of nice cars and that's what drew me into it. So yeah, I saw the skyline. GTR there, you know, and I was like, oh, that's cool, and it's Japanese, that's amazing. 2009, when this GTR came out, you know, that's what I heard, is Nissan GTR, and I was like, it looks nothing like the, the Skyline GTR that I saw, so I started researching it, fell in love with it, and then since then, 2009, I've been following that car all the time, saying like, I'm gonna get this one day, I don't know how, but I'm gonna get it. And then, you know, fast forward like, what, eight years now, and I finally got one. People say that money can't buy happiness, but I'm damn sure happy when I'm sitting in this car, so it bought me happiness, so let's put it that way. Out of all the cars that I've driven, this is the first car that's like, you know, way over, you know, 260 horsepower. You can already feel that power as soon as you just tap onto the accelerator. You know that the car wants to go, right? It throws you in the seat like I've never felt before, like the, the G's take over. This is something that's good for me. I don't know if a lot of people is going to like it, but you can feel a lot of mechanical clinging in this car. It's due to the fact that it does like a lot of hard shift on its own when it's on automatic. So when it's like finding gears and switching gears and stuff like that, you feel like the car actually doing all that stuff. So you kind of feel like the jitters and whatnot. I think that's pretty cool because I know that there's part power behind it and then when there's like all these mechanical functions going on I'm just like yeah this car is working so you open your eyes right and you see all these crazy looking cars with like you know custom body kits and whatnot and it sounds great with this custom ex customized exhaust so I'm just like well you know I still like that I had to be like more truthful to myself it's like I keep coming back to wanting to customize cars and stuff like that that's who I am just let it be right so I said, you know what, I'm gonna buy a car that I really want, that I know that I'm gonna hold on for years and years, probably for the rest of my life, hopefully, and I'm just gonna do whatever I can to that car. Which again, comes back to the GTR, because that's been my dream car for such a long time. Now that I have it, this thing is going to like change. Like The way you see it now, it's pretty much bone stock, except for like the exhaust and stuff like that. But give me two, three years, and it's gonna be just, a new thing so we'll probably have to do this again so the main reason why I bought this car well I think it's more of an icing on the cake is, is the exhaust that it came with it so the previous owner put uh, a Tomei Extreme titanium exhaust on this and it's from the mid pipe to the to the exhaust pipe it sounds aggressive but it's also clean it's not raspy just the way I like it That is pretty much the only bolt-on aftermarket that's on here. Everything else is bone stock. As I always do with any car, tinted windows. I'm gonna be adding some new aftermarket brake pads on the car. Should make this noise drop down to like either little or none, hopefully, while keeping the same stopping power, or if not better. And then I also wanna do a cold air intake at some point. I do have a Cobb tuning to access port coming in next week, and that's just, you know, tuning the car. Just every time I get a new aftermarket, I'll just tune it to the, the right setting so it just efficiently uses all the bolt-ons. So I would love to do a wide body. Varus is my favorite company of all time. They have a very mean, aggressive look for this car. So hopefully I can get my hands on that. I would say give me a couple years. I've also given Liberty Walk uh, a look at that. There are a couple things that I don't like about the Liberty Walk look, but at the same time when you put it together, it looks great. So it's kind of a flip flop between those two. I do have an ambition to hit over 1,000 horsepower on this. One thing I do is that if I get a new car, it has to be better. If you do trade this in, what car are you gonna get? And my eye is set on the McLaren right now because that is like the next step in my, in my book. But I can't see myself giving this away just because this is the dream car.
My name is Yuji Nagaki and I drive a 2012 Nissan GTR. Word! <laughs> Hey all I hope you guys enjoyed that short film. I know it's not my usual content and it's not my goal that I set out. Um, but best believe I'm working very diligently, very hard towards that goal. There will be more car content coming soon or just more content in general. I, I've sort of become this, this ball of create, this ball of creation making thing. Uh, I just like creating. There will be more uh, content on my YouTube uh, soon. Just gotta figure out how to adult. Trying to figure out how to adult. That's the hardest part, figuring out how to adult. Peace.